Hey folks, so today I'm here with the Tiny Hop 2 HD conversion. Um, you may have seen this in a couple other videos, I haven't flown it in those videos. Still work, was working on it, it took me months, <laughs> as I was working on it the whole time. Uh, but just uh, a couple setbacks and then also just, you know, doing other things. Um, so uh, the first video I was wanting, want, the first time it flew I was wanting to kind of give a uh, impression on that and it was terrible because uh, the vibrations were really bad uh, so I spent you know a couple days or more week trying to tune out those vibrations just using beta flight to try to tune stuff filtering different things of that sort um, none of that worked I just just couldn't get the vibrations out um, now whenever I originally uh, prototyped this or, or started working on it I cut out all of the supports for the old flight controller because uh, you'll see in some videos maybe uh, where I wanted the flight controller, the original flight controller, this one, I wanted it to sit flatter so that I had more room for the, um, I wanted to sit closer to the frame so I had more room for the, for the Vista because I have to create all these double stacks in here, triple stack. Um, so I cut out all the supports that the, the board would fit flatter on there. Um, but then eventually, I guess whenever I took the VTX off of that board, I uh, desoldered it and desoldered some other connectors that I didn't need, the video connector. Um, I must have overheated it or got some solder somewhere or something because the uh, ESC1, motor number one, wouldn't spin up fully. It would, it would spin up, but then when you applied power to it, uh, a load to it, it would, it would start dropping out, kicking off. Um, so something's wrong with that ESC. Um, I tried swapping the motors back and forth to it and, and it seemed like it was just the ESC so I had to replace that flight controller. I got another flight controller and um, HG LRC I believe, um, I don't know where it's at, but it, uh, I thought it would be really cool, it had a black box on it and stuff, uh, but unfortunately it didn't have an S bus pin. It had, it had two free UARTs, but neither of them were inverted, uh, inverted RX, so couldn't do S bus to that thing, <laughs> that's too bad. Uh, so then I went and got a beta FPV flight controller, which is what's in here now. Now, uh, once I put those, a regular flight controller in here, you can see m maybe. Um, it does, the supports that I cut off right there aren't, uh, didn't need to be cut off on the sides to fit a regular flight controller. I didn't have to cut the supports off the front, but you probably can't see that. That's up in there. Um, the front and back supports I did have to cut off, did need those off. But the, the, but the ones on the sides didn't need to be cut off, so what you see in there is toothpicks uh, reinforcing that spot. And I did that whenever I was fighting the, um, the vibrations, because I thought it was flexing more this way. Because you could see, in your vision, you could see this one going, just vibrating when you're, when you're flying. And just the, this this uh, duct was vibrating a good bit. So I thought maybe it was because uh, of the flex of the frame, which it is a little bit because of the flex of the frame, but not because, I don't think it's because I cut it up. Um, it's just this this frame frame just flexes a lot, and so if you have vibrations, the frame's gonna flex a, a ton. Um, so what it ended up being is the props. These uh, props that come with the Tiny Hawk Two, they're special props. They go like over the motors. Um, so this is the only prop you can get for this that fits right, and seems like they just have a lot of. They're just not that balanced, not well balanced. Um, so whenever you're adding all this extra weight to the to the quad, uh, it, it you you have to spin up the motors a lot higher, um, and that's bringing this, these into a spot where they're vibrating really bad, um, or and it's causing oscillations. And you just I haven't found a way to to balance these jacks since that hub is offset. Um, you can't just stick them on a piece of pencil lead and spin it and like I did these. Um, so I can't balance these just yet. I might need to make something. I do want to put these back on it, just because they'll fit better. Um, whereas these, you can see the props are slightly below the ducts, so they're not really protected. Can't fly this around my kids or anything, because uh, the props are just right out there, cut you. So I, I would eventually like to figure out a way to balance these props. Um, but basically, uh, these are Gym Fan 3 blades and gym fans always come pretty unbalanced anyways, but uh, I balance them using the pencil lead. You stick them on the pencil lead and you sh slide them back and forth and it causes them to, uh, the lead is, you know, uh, has very low friction and, and then they'll just rotate down and, and you see which, 
Huge ones heavy and scrapes and uh, plastic off of them with the razor. So these are balanced and with these on it, you'll see in the flight footage, it's uh, pretty smooth. Um, smooth enough for me anyways. Uh, there's maybe some tuning that I still need to do. It's got a little bit of tune to it, not much. I mostly just got to the point where it would fly fairly with fairly low vibration, um, even on a stock tune, like completely stock pids. No pre t presets and completely stock filters, no, no presets there. Um, the first flight was on that. The flight you're going to see is with a little bit of tune. It's got the pits bumped up just a little bit to take out prop wash and stuff. Um, just the kind of standard bumping along that, it, that they'll do when they're on low pits. Uh, it seems to be flying pretty good with that. I may go back and tune some more eventually. I'm sure I will. You just tend to do that. Um, to tune with this board, there's there's no like USB on it. It has like a little connector that you have to um, attach a cable to. This little cable here. You plug that in there and there's a USB connector that goes on the end of that. Uh, so it makes for a better, a more compact um, build, but it's also irritating because you have to put the cable in there to, to connect it to Betaflight. But so right now that's not on there. You don't see the cable in there. Uh, when I was first flying and tuning, I just kind of wrapped the cable up here. Um, to make it make it a little better, I mean easier to uh, tune tune quicker. Uh, so I put out a video a little while back about decasing the Vista. One thing I didn't put in that video is that the outer holes on a Vista, one of these, um, after you decase it, these outer holes, these are the whoop sized holes, they're one inch uh, or thirty, you know, twenty five millimeter, twenty five and a half millimeter. Uh, between them, um, those holes are small. They're not like M2 or anything. So you have to drill out these holes. Uh, I have to show you a video of that. Drilling out these holes. I think uh, if you have like a big set of bits, uh, it's a .081 bit. will make it where an M2 fits through here really well. The first time I did that on, on a Vista, I like, barely you know, used really small increments of bits to drill it out each time to hopefully not damage the, the Vista since I was doing something I didn't know if it would work. Um, this last time I just went through I think with an 081 but and it, you know, on the first try and uh, it seems to be working fine on that one. So that's how you get M2s to fit through those outer holes, just drill them. Seems to be fine. Uh, somebody in the comments uh, actually said that people have just completely trimmed off half the outside of this board anyway so um, getting it down to like 16 millimeters. So yeah, you don't seem to do too much damage drilling those out. Um, so yeah, it took me several iterations to get to this point. Uh, the, the camera in here is, is a standard DJI camera cut down to 14 millimeters. Uh, so it fits in a, you know, a nano size package. It's, it's squeezed in there pretty, pretty good. Um, and it is a little off. It's, it's just because it doesn't really fit that well in here. Um, in this camera area right, right here. It's a little off, so you can actually see this duct a little more than this duct in the in the view. I like having the ducts in view, but it's a little a little tilted. Um, it is coming in around forty two grams. Uh, I think it's like one gram lighter than my uh, HD trash can. Um, now that I did I did measure that back when before it I had the uh, the cap on there, but I also had that cable on there, so. Hope those may even out. So it's still probably still around 42 grams. I haven't measured it, uh, weighed it since. Uh, you see on the bottom here is my 3D printed um, battery holder. So I designed that um, so that these slide right in, just like kind of like on the trash can. Uh, so I've actually printed up three of these now. I broke two of them. No, I printed four. I broke two so far. So this is my latest revision of it. I just uh, beefed it up a little more. I haven't flown it with this one yet. It's it's just like the other ones though, but uh, it's just hopefully a little stronger for landings. Uh, the first one I flew for a long time and it didn't ever break on just regular landings. It's just whenever I let the voltage run to like five volts, <laughs> uh, it dropped out of the sky and, and it broke it. The next one, I don't know when I broke it, so it must've broke too easy. Um, so yeah, this one's a little beefier. Maybe next time I'll also in the next revision, I might add in some chamfering on the uh, on all these joints, maybe make them a little stronger. But we'll see how this one does. I upped it from like an 030 to an 040 thickness on these, and and there's a little different design too. 
uh, it holds the batteries just above the Vista and it's um, you know lets a little heat in there now you'll you can see that it's covering up the battery the blades the, the props a good bit these batteries where they're sitting versus, versus the original design had them going across this way so it was a little less likely plus it had them stacked I believe <clears throat> and it was only like a 1s so it was you know not covering up the the props as much so of course that means I'm spinning up my props a lot higher which of course brings out those vibrations I may one day remake this and do them like this make the batteries sit at an angle here to not cover up the props as much so that they'll be more in in line in inboard um, I may do that I did it this way originally just to try to keep the keep it low profile and with the batteries like this it'll be just a hair higher it's not really that much higher so I may do that just to um, help the efficiency of the props. Maybe it'll lower some vibes a little bit even more. Um, just because right now they're blowing on the batteries, you know, probably 30% of the prop is covered by the batteries. So, anyways, uh, hopefully you see some little bit of video of it flying. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, I'm probably not going to show you all the soldering and stuff like that, in, you know, standard. Uh, it's tight, of course, when you're doing a build like this. Um, and also prototyping, trying to figure out how to do these bolts. So just uh, real quick on that. The, the front and back bolts go through the frame up to here and right under that camera. Um, those go through the frame. That's where it's mounted. These other ones are just spacing for the Vista. Uh, they just press up against the frame just below that, which, of course, you know, uh, it is rubber mounted on the, on the flight controller, but by the time you squish all the wires in and everything on one of these, it, it it's the vibes are going to carry right through to the flight controller. Um, this is something you got to deal with. with these they're not going to ever be perfectly a super clean build uh, where you can lower your filters way down or anything like that. You're not going to do that with these little squished in one uh, builds. You just kind of got to run a little conservative on your filtering and your pids. Maybe not your pits. Usually your pits can be pretty high, but your filtering needs to be fairly conservative with these. But yeah. I think that's it. Enjoy the flight.